you know, every once in a while we end up in a bind where we're not able to get out there and get our photographers through the home. Now, sometimes it's because the person wants to list the property and it's just too short notice and we can't find a photographer in time. Now, there's other times where, you know, maybe we have a photographer lined up, but the seller ends up not being ready and has to cancel on a photographer. And then we're sitting over here going, well, what should we do now? You know what I mean? Like it's tough. Sometimes these photographers are pretty busy, especially in this market. And then, you know, I've also had other times where, you know, we have a photographer lined up, but somebody wants to just take a few shots of the inside just for like a coming soon and just to start pre-marketing the property. And we just want to get some shots done for that. And we're still waiting on the professionals to get in and take their shots. So today I'm going to show you guys how to take photos of your listings like a pro. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, a technique called bracketing that most photographers photographers use when they are taking shots of real estate. And then we're going to jump into Lightroom and I'm going to show you guys how professionals edit these photos to make sure that we're properly exposed. Now I know some of you guys have tried to take interior shots of real estate and the outside looks super overexposed. It looks like a spaceship's landing outside the building and in other shots, you know, maybe the inside looks super dark, but the windows look okay. And it's really hard to lift all of those shadows. Most of the time when you see white, on the window, there's nothing you can do to fix that. I mean, that just means that that photo is completely blown out and there's no way that you're gonna be able to uh, look at that photo and see out the windows. But I'm gonna show you guys now how to actually take what's called an HDR photo inside of a camera and get that professional look if you need to, if you're in the pinch, okay? You just need to have a nice wide angle lens. And what I mean by wide angle lens, I mean something that's like between about 18 and 20 millimeters. I've seen photographers go even wider than that, you know, using like 14 and 15 millimeters. But in my personal experience, I've only seen that look good uh, when a photographer is shooting like a mansion, like a super big home with these massive tall ceilings, super, uh, super spacious rooms and things like that. Uh, when you're just shooting like a regular size home, even if it's a larger home, 4,000, 5,000 square feet, when you go too wide of an angle, what it does is it kind of distorts the photo. And we don't want that inside of our real estate photography. We want super clean and nice lines. We want it to look crispy as if a professional did it. So why don't I show you guys right now how to do that. So I know with some of the camera brands, you have to go inside the settings to access the uh, bracketing functions. However, with Sony, they make it pretty easy. All you have to do is this. All right, so I tried to set the exposure as good as possible here for this first shot. You can see I'm 0.3 stops overexposed. When you look at the picture, it shows that I am uh, overexposed outside and slightly underexposed inside. However, of course, we're gonna take this as an HDR photo and I'll show you how that works. So first we wanna select left on the wheel here on Sony cameras and that's going to put you into your drive modes and from there you want to scroll down to where it says bracket C or bracket continuous then what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's set to um, bracket one stop per photo and take five images you can see here as I scroll left or right uh, you can change that but I always like to have it set to uh, one stop per photo and I want it to take five images. I also have the self timer set on here so that I can just press the shutter button once and it'll take all five images and that reduces the chance of me uh, potentially moving the tripod or having some of these images not line up correctly. So from here, I'm just gonna push the shutter button and then you'll see that this uh, last shot here is dramatically overexposed and as I uh, scroll over, the exposure drops a little bit and now it's underexposed on the inside and now it's completely underexposed on the inside. However, the uh, window is exposed correctly. And then this is my last shot here. Really, really uh, dark shadows here on the interior. However, the uh, exterior uh, window shots look to be exposed correctly. So why don't I get the photos off of the SD card and I'm gonna show you guys how to edit these inside of Adobe Lightroom. All right guys, now we're in Lightroom CC. I've already uploaded all five of the photos I just took. Uh, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight all five of these raw photos that I took. We're gonna go up here to Photo. Then we're gonna go down to Photo Merge, HDR Merge. We're gonna leave Auto Align on. We're gonna leave Apply Auto Settings on. And we're just going to select Merge. Right now the system is performing the merge. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish uh, loading. And here we are, we have our HDR image now. So 
Let me select this HDR image. As you can see, uh, there's still some work that needs to be done. It is still a little bit dark on the interior. However, the outside exposure is actually looking pretty good here through these windows. So from here, I'm gonna go up to my sliders. I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes. I'll increase the exposure. I'm probably going to lift the shadows a little bit more. Maybe even drop some highlights a little bit more. And then um, I'm gonna change the uh, white balance to a little bit cooler. I feel like it's a hair too warm. And then from here, uh, this part's really important. I'm gonna go down here to optics. And then what I wanna do is I wanna enable lens correction. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna get rid of this vignette and it's gonna make my lines a little bit cleaner here. All right, as you can see, I enabled the lens correction and it did get rid of that vignette and brightened up the photo uh, quite a bit. I'm gonna go to effects and I'm just gonna uh, dehaze this photo a little bit here. And then I'll probably drop, drop the temperature a little bit more, a little bit, change the exposure a little bit and that's looking pretty good. So there you have it. Let's uh, take a look at the before and after. Before, after, before, after. So that's how the pros get it done. All right, I hope that you guys got something out of this quick tutorial video and that I was able to help some of you guys who might be in a pinch and just need to get some really high quality shots of your listings before a photographer can get out there. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the stuff I talked about. I'll go ahead and put a link to the camera that I use in the description and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, do all the things, hit the bell, help this channel out. I would appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next one.